we will go through the installation of Matrix Cosec panel now. As you are aware, Matrix Cosec panel is a site controller which integrates multiple door controllers. You can connect a maximum of 75 door controllers to the Cosec panel. Further, it provides many essential value-added features on the door controllers like first-in user, two-person's rule, etc. There are two different protocols with which you can establish a network of multiple door controllers with the Cosec panel, RS-485 and TCP-IP. You can connect up to 32 door controllers through a RS-485 loop. While using TCP-IP networking, you can connect up to 75 door controllers to the Cosec panel. A mixed network is also possible. In a mixed network also, you can connect up to 75 door controllers to the Cosec panel. Further, Cosec panel provides interfaces to connect an auxiliary input like smoke detector and an auxiliary output like siren. You can connect a battery in the Cosec panel enclosure, which can provide power backup in case of mains failure. It is also capable of supplying power to four door controllers. Now let's see the panel installation. We start with verifying the package contents. If any of these items are damaged or missing, contact your supplier. Let's have a quick look at the various parts of the panel enclosure. These are various status indicator lamps. Fault indicator for network failure, battery fail indicator, mains fail indicator, alarm indicator and power indicator. The USB port is for future functions interface. This is the mains power supply cord. Prior to mounting and starting up the panel, we will see how to make various connections. Check all the cables which come from the door controllers, auxiliary input, auxiliary outputs, etc. to the mounting locations of the panel enclosure and properly label each wire for its use. Use these knockouts to route the various cables. There are two cards inside the panel, CPU card and power supply card. Let's start with connections to the CPU card. Connect the Ethernet cable from the network switch here. If you are setting up a network of panel doors using RS-485 cables, observe the relevant print marks like A, B and shield and connect the cable ends accordingly. Cosec panel also enables you to connect auxiliary input and output like door controller. Connect the NO, NC and COM conductors of the cable to the auxiliary output like hooter or siren according to markings printed on the PCB. Finally, Join the positive and negative ends of the cable from the auxiliary input as per the print marks. Notice this SW1. It is an optical hook switch. It detects unauthorized enclosure openings. We're done making all the connections to the CPU card. Now let's see connections to the power supply card. Fix the external battery for power backup first. Now connect the ends of this cable to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Connect the cable ends to supply the 12 volt DC power to four door controllers. This is the fuse for primary protection. We have concluded the connections to the power supply card. We have finished various connections to the panel. Now using this mounting template, fix screws to mount the panel on wall. Fix the panel enclosure to the screws using the guiding slots at the rear side. Now connect the power plug to AC outlet and switch on the panel. It will undergo the booting process. When booting completes, the indicator LEDs will flash twice followed by a beep. Now check the fault indicator LEDs to determine the status of communication and other vital parameters. Observe that power LED glows green continuously when there is adequate power available. Let us connect the COSEC panel to the monitoring PC. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cable which is connected to the Ethernet port on the CPU card to the LAN. Ensure that the monitor PC is also connected to the same network. Finally, insert the COSEC USB dongle key in the USB port of the COSEC monitor PC or the server. Only then can you launch and configure the COSEC application software. That's all about installing the COSEC panel. I hope that now you will be able to carry out the panel installation independently.